In a bid to promote modeling as a viable career option for women, the Miss Meghalaya organization had launched the Miss Universe Meghalaya 2024 at a ceremony held at the Vivanta Shillong on the 15th of May 2024. The event was graced by Meghalaya's Minister of Tourism, Paul Lingdo, who attended as the chief guest along with F.R. Kharkongor, the Commissioner and Secretary of the Arts and Culture Department, and the Managing Director of Marketing for Miss Universe, Amjad Khan. During his address, Paul Lingdo urged upon the youth to exhibit their talents in various fields. Additionally, he emphasized the importance of showcasing the traditional attire of Meghalaya to a broader audience within India and internationally. In the nook and corners of the Boy district, for instance, we have mostly women who have spent, and today they are in the second and third generation, weaving patterns on the fabric. Uh, but most of these are not even known by many here in the capital <coughs> city of Shillong. We need to take those fabrics to the rest of India, to the rest of the world. And uh, the aim is for us to go global. Frederick has mentioned a few of our inherent strengths. The fact that we had legislators turned ministers back in the 1950s. The fact that we had somebody like Kong Rose, who uh, became ultimately the chairperson of the UPSC. These are some of our, uh, the faces that introduced the women folk of Megara to the rest of the world. Uh, he has not mentioned one thing, which I think he left it to me to do so, which is that in Megara, most in most constituencies, female voters outnumber the males. So we uh, can act and take policy decisions uh, which are to your disadvantage only at the cost of our own disadvantage. <laughs>